A famous Swiss theologian Mr. Emmett Berner once quoted, "What oxygen is to the lungs, such is hope to the meaning of life." When I was trying to figure out what to post this week, I ended up seeing this interesting quote somewhere. Wait, I'm not going to give you any theology session about life or hope this time. Let's talk about the very basic essence of life and living reality in this earth, the chemical element O2. Okay, now this is not a chemistry video either. Hello guys, welcome to my channel OmniFind. Take a very deep breath and let's get into the video today on oxygen. What all do we know about oxygen? I could only think of two things. One, that we breathe in oxygen and two, that oxygen is a tasteless, colorless, odorless gas which is abundantly found in Earth's atmosphere. Is oxygen present only on Earth? Mm, well, let me think. Now, the answer is, it is not. There is traces of oxygen on every planet. However, everywhere except Earth, this oxygen is bound up in compounds together with other elements. I find oxygen to be similar to human beings. Just like us, oxygen is an extremely reactive substance. It wants to combine with anything and everything around. If there is any carbon around, the carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. If there is any hydrogen around, it combines with oxygen to form water. And then, if there is any iron around, then it combines with oxygen to form rust. When we compare with other planets, the Earth has a crucial difference. the plants yes it is the only planet which has plants and trees about 2 billion year ago a tiny organism called cyanobacteria or in simple term the blue green algae evolved the ability to use energy of sunlight water and carbon dioxide to make food for themselves now they had a by product which was the oxygen so they pumped out the oxygen out the descendant of bacteria live inside every cell in every plant on earth and there is a whole bunch of them living very free on the big ocean there and every day while sun shines they are busy pumping out oxygen and making food for them it is very interesting to note that the rate at which oxygen combines with other element on earth is exactly balanced by the rate at which plants and these tiny organism are pumping out more to replace it thus earth alone has been able to maintain roughly 21 percentage concentration of oxygen in its atmosphere in the past billion years now to the very interesting part i want you to think through one fine day all these plants on earth quarantine or lockdown or cease to work themselves and resist to produce even a single drop of oxygen can you imagine an earth without oxygen what would happen if oxygen were to disappear for 5 second from earth atmosphere If you are at beach you would get sunburn ozone up there is a molecular oxygen which blocks the majority of uv light without it we are toast if you are in the daytime then the sky would get darker with fewer particles in the atmosphere to scatter blue light the sky would get a bit less blue and bit blacker every internal combustion engine would stop this means that every airplane taking off from a runway would likely crash to the ground while plane in flight could glide for some more time everyone's inner ear would explode as mentioned we would lose about 21 percentage of air pressure in an instant every building made out of concrete would turn to dust oxygen is more important binder in concrete structures and without it the compounds do not hold their rigidity every living cell would explode in a haze of hydrogen gas water is one third oxygen without it the hydrogen turns into a gaseous state and expands in volume next the oceans would evaporate and float into space as oxygen disappears from ocean's water the hydrogen component becomes an unbound free gas hydrogen gas being the lightest will rise to the upper troposphere and slowly escape into space through atmosphere at last everything above ground would immediately go into a free fall as oxygen makes about 45% of earth's crust and mantle there is suddenly a very less stuff beneath your feet to hold everything up simple terms it wouldn't be as pretty as you imagine yes life as we know it would not be possible without plants oxygen that these plants produce is essential for the cellular respiration 
for all the lives which includes our mother nature yes our earth i think you will agree with me that she is a living being in the universe that concentrates energy and life while giving shelter and life to all without asking anything in return she is the past present and future i think we will agree to the point that mother earth can live without us but we definitely cannot live without her i think it becomes our responsibility to save her from all the exploitation which is happening around the world now with this we have come to the end of this topic if you like this video please share with your friends and comment us about your views until i meet you next time with some other interesting topic take a deep breath and chill out guys thank you